Contest sims are the buzz in the DFS ecosystem right now. And a question that always comes across my plate is, hey, how is the contest sim adjusting for me making manual adjustments to ownership or uploading custom ownership? The simple answer is it isn't. And if you want it to, there are steps you need to take in order to achieve that goal. So that's what we're going to walk through here in this video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Andrew, one of the coaches over here at SaberSim. Let's jump right in. First off, let's start by uploading custom ownership. So I'm going to go to the upload here, and then I am going to actually let's get this. First off, let's start by uploading our custom ownership by going to the upload tab using the paste CSV option here. I have a player list and then I have aggregate ownerships here. So I'm just going to select ownership and then I'm going to save that. I can do two things here. I can either just leave it in the my own column or I can save it as its own ownership set. I'm just going to leave it for ease here. And then from here, what I'm going to do is go to the gear icon, use the match exposure to ownership option. It's going to set a threshold above and below each player's ownership for how much exposure you are going to get to them. So when I save this, it, we have Tyreek Kill here at about 23%. So we're setting a range above and below just to give the builder a little bit of flexibility here when we go to build your lineups. And then from this step, I would go to your settings. I would set the default settings to whatever contest you're going to be playing. So that's, if that's a 20 max, 10 to 50K entrance, I would leave the sliders or I would set the sliders at their default, but then I would lower the correlation. I'm going to do about half of the normal correlation value here. Reason being is that I don't think the field is building with as much correlation as SaberSim is providing via the cor correlation slider. So I'm going to lower that value a bit here. And then one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my number of lineups equal to my pool size. The reason for that is because we are requesting all of these min exposures here. Well, you're not going to be able to fit them all into 20 lineups. So you're going to automatically get an error message once the lineups are finished here, which can lead you down the wrong path as to what might be happening. So setting these two things equal to each other is the easiest way to go. And then lastly, I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rename this and I'm going to set this as my custom field here, my custom field lineups just for ease of reference here. And then I'm going to kick this off and I will resume the video when the lineups are. The lineups are finished now. And as you can see, some of the exposures didn't come in perfectly here, but all of these are really, really close. For instance, Raheem Mostert, maximum 20.1%. He came in at 20.3. Tyreek Hill, minimum 19.4, came in at 18.7. So all of these like within a single percentage here wouldn't worry too much about them if you see the error message these are going to be very close to representative here if you're having a lot of trouble getting these percentages accurate what i would do is you can either lower your sim diversity a little bit i went from seven to five here or another thing that you can do is for the lowest owned players in your lineup you know 15 percent above and below for tyree kill at 23 percent is a decent range but for somebody who is two percent owned 3% owned, 4% owned, that range gets very small. So another thing I did was I came in here and I set all of these players from like two to five or three to six to, to give them a bigger percentage window here to be met. So those are things that I would do here if you're running into issues. But in general, these lineups are good and these are our new custom field lineups. So next thing I would do is go and build my own lineup set. I opened up a new build workspace here, this build one workspace, and then just made two small adjustments to projections and kicked off a lineup set. So now I have my own set of 5,000 lineups. I have the 5,000 lineups that we created using our custom ownership and match exposure to ownership option to represent our custom field here. Now what I need to do is set up my contest sim. So one of the easiest ways to just go to save my contest, you can right click on any one of these contests here and then use the add contest sim option. When you get to the field lineup step, click on this drop down, scroll to the bottom here, and then 
select my custom field lineups, which we made. This will put your lineups into our theoretical behind the scenes contest with the custom field that you built instead of one of the SaberSim pre-generated fields. So then I will save those settings here. I can get out of this save to my contest window, and then I can kick off my contest sim. So this is how you take custom ownership projections, make a custom field, and then use that custom field in your contest sim. Simply uploading your custom ownership will not have an effect on the field lineups you're going to need to create your own. But that about does it for this video here. If you guys have any questions about anything we covered, send us an email, support at sabersim.com. Thank you.